tonight, a News 13 investigation. We've been looking into a Myrtle Beach pool company after receiving complaints from News 13 viewers that the company was collecting payments and not finishing the job. News 13, Savannah Denton is live now in our newsroom with the stories of four families who have yet to take that first dip in their new pools. Savannah. Patsy, our News 13 investigation found families who felt they were deceived after their contracts and promises that they would be built swimming pools in a timely manner. Cascade Custom Pools is accused of digging a hole, installing some utilities like plaster or concrete, and then not returning for weeks or months, if ever. It's just cost after cost after cost. All these promises were made, did not come through. I think what they're doing is criminal. We aren't the only ones. This has happened to a lot of people. Complaint after complaint. News 13 has discovered at least a dozen families, many from the Grand Strand, who say their experience with Cascade Custom Pools cost them thousands of dollars and many of them are still without a pool. It's an absolute unleveled mud pit through our entire yard. This is the Tiptons back in September of last year, excited as construction began on their new pool. And we met with multiple contractors, multiple pool builders, um, and finally met with Cascade. They were actually our last company that we met with. The Tiptons say they shelled out more than $100,000 and honored the Cascade contract. Shortly after signing the contract, they say the issues began. The hot tub wall was poured incorrectly with the, with the concrete. The plumbing was done incorrectly in the hot tub. As the problems began to pile up, Samantha Tipton says communication from Cascade stalled. That is when they just completely disappeared for months on end. She says their contract is still not fulfilled 26 weeks later. We're stuck in this position that we've paid at this point now 93% of our contract and they won't give us our pavers, they won't give us our pump, they won't give us our heater. But for the Dasher family, they did receive their pool equipment. However, they say it was previously used. The equipment that was delivered to us uh, was used from back in 2021. It had claims on its warranty already. The Dasher's initial contract started July of 2023. Seven months into the project, this is what they see in their backyard. Main purpose for the pool, honestly, was a gift uh, for my mom's 60th birthday. Like the Tiptons, the Dashers say they went through similar issues. They had 97% of our money, and we had up until the tiling and coping. We had no decking, we had no pavers, nothing. We basically begged every day for work to be done. Six months after construction began, the Dashers say they received an amended contract saying the pool would be done in 60 days. This is what they're left with, way past the 60 day mark. We're waiting for the day that we get, you know, a letter saying, hey, you have a lien on your house because Cascade did not pay their subcontractors. For another family, the Moore family, that became a reality for them. On December 8th, we were served by an attorney um, and we have a lien on our home for over $8,000, it's $8,900. Same thing, same pattern, not answering emails, not answering texts. The Moore family knew it was time to find someone else to finish the job. They had already paid Cascade $150,000 to build. I call it a pool Ponzi scheme, okay? They took deposits, did minimal work, and took that money to try and fix problems and take care of other projects. The Belleville family took the same action when their level of issues reached a breaking point. Now you wake up in the middle of the night thinking, where's our money? How are we going to get this finished? Both the Moors and the Bellavos had to pay a new company to fix the work of Cascade. To say the least, we have had to dig into our life savings and end up paying so much more than we ever anticipated. It's almost like paying for two swimming pools. Between all four families News 13 spoke with, they're out a combined $422,000 and still have yet to take their first swim. News 13 went looking for answers. The Better Business Bureau says it found 13 close complaints within the last year, but none were resolved. Cascade has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. I first started calling Cascade Pools in March. No answer. I then went to their office on American Way in Myrtle Beach and found the door locked with a note that says by appointment only. News 13 has reached out multiple times since then. Late this week, we finally heard back from Cascade owner Chris Harrington. Harrington claims there are issues happening within the company, but says they are, quote, actively working to find solutions. All of our homeowners are going to have an email either by the end of the day tomorrow or Saturday the latest, kind of with what our plans are. When asked why it's taken this long to respond, we're just, we're just behind schedule, honestly. I mean, everything just got backed up a little bit. 
News 13 asked if the current resolution plans include returning money. It's basically working with a, another contractor to kind of close up our open contracts right now. He did not say the name of the contractor. There's way too many people, way too many businesses that have been affected by this. We just have to stop the madness. The business license for Cascade Custom Pools has been suspended by the state as of the 3rd of this month. News 13 will stay on top of this breaking story and let you know how or if these families will ever get to enjoy their fully built pools. Live in the newsroom, Savannah Denton, News 13.